I saw the whole thing. Oh, by the way, hey, I mean, him getting, is that surprising to you? Rave getting fired? Yeah, I'm definitely surprised, um, you know, because the, the body of work that, you know, Rave's has had since he's been there. Um, yeah, these last two years have been tough, but I feel like Rave's is a great coach. He has a championship mentality. He's a leader of men, and he knows to get the best out of his players. Um, I know it's uh, uh, different in the front office with the personnel that they have, and, you know, um, maybe they have a different vision. I'm not sure. I don't know all the details, but, um, you know, uh, I thought he'll still be the coach. I thought they'll probably just talk it out and, you know, make some adjustments as as time went forward and, you know, for the future of the organization. But um, it was shocking to me. Um, I'm sure Rays will have plenty of opportunities or another opportunity um, somewhere down the road. You know, I, you know, I talked to him yesterday. I told him I'm always indebted to him. I got a lot, of, got a lot of love for him. And, you know, with this happening, you know, I just wish him the best. And hopefully I see him coaching again somewhere else and doing good. Yeah, I thought that was – I mean, we if everybody listening right now, like this is – Tuesday, we, January 9th. This news just came out like 20 minutes ago. It's literally 12 ago. o'clock right now. And the news came out 15 minutes ago. You were ago. on Rich Eyes, and I like walk over to you wide-eyed like, yo, they Vrabel, they got him. We, really, all, I, we, all, we all shocked? Yeah, oh, yeah, I was shocked. Like, I, I've been, only thing I know is just on the outside, like reading Twitter, reading articles and things like that. Like it seemed like there was like a, I'll just say power struggle for lack of a better term right now, but like, some disagreement with like whether it's him the front office or role clarity on who's doing what like he doesn't need to be in full control but would like somebody who he like who would be competent enough i guess to do that job i don't know all those struggles in, inside the inside that building fascinating yeah. though and then it seemed like he was up uh he was up there for possibly being traded i was also reading like he wouldn't he would rather be fired so that way you know he would accept the buyout and then immediately go get another job because he will yeah. cuz he's a great head coach so it, I was, I was kind of thinking along the lines that you were like, I felt like they would get it figured out. Yeah. Like I get that disagreement happens at yep. the top, yep. but Vrabe's like a guy who you just, like, what you just said, like he's a, he's like a leader, and sometimes he's he's tough, but he that dude is a leader of men, a leader of those guys, and he's got that championship pedigree. Like he gets it. He's not. It's not like he'll ever just be stuck in certain ways. Like we saw, seen him adapt and grow for. Through our time with the Titans, I'm Especially sure you would just pass. 2018, 2019. Yeah, sure. I mean, it like, sucks losing. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, but like any other coach, I mean, every coach has their ways and has their ways of doing things. But, you know, with, I mean, Taylor can piggyback with Braves. You know, yeah, he's a tough coach. Um, you know, yeah, he comes from that uh, Patriot mindset. And, you know, sometimes he does things that, you know, you don't like or you don't agree with. But at the end of the day, you know he means well. You mm -hmm. know, he's just trying to do whatever he thinks right to help the team um, be the best that they can. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely... He's somebody who has, like, if it's come from somebody who doesn't, and not that you ever hold coaches against not playing, but Vrabe is somebody who played 14 years. So yeah. even though it sucks, there's you know that there's not a whole lot that I can kind of go back with right now yeah. because he's been there, done that. He's just trying to help us be better. Man, you, and he's going to let you know he played 14 100%, years. 100%. 100%. I just think it's a... I don't know why... Because it was it was very obvious early in the season that like just from an overall talent standpoint, like there was there was a lot of transition going on. A lot of yeah. guys that were used to be there aren't there. Like you guys didn't have the ability to be true like contenders as you as the Titans had been in like three years past. Yeah. And so for me, it's like it's not Rabe's job to bring in new players during the season. It's the GM's job. Like Rabel is the dude that has proven he can have success with a lesser talented team. Like when you got hurt. And we have have running backs by committee, and we had the most injuries in, in NFL history, and we still end up getting the one seed in twenty twenty one. Like that's a dude that I like. I but I, I think, but I think picking back off that, um, saying when when I got hurt, I still think we were pretty solid, you know. And and with you know this year, um, you know, one thing I I would say is like in, in years past, when when shit hit the fan, even when you were there, and you were there. You can look to your left or your right, and you know when when the pressure comes, you know the person to your left or right is going to respond. Mm -hmm. And if you need to lean on them, you can lean on them by being in those situations with them before. And 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 this year, like you said, when you came to the facility, it just didn't. You know, it kind of felt like out of place. And whenever I came um, back for OTAs, um, 
uh, uh, earlier last year, um, you know, I was talking to KB. We both kind of felt the same way. It was like, it just felt different. Mm -hmm. You know, you know when we used to come back, it was kind of like that home feeling. Like, we was the old line was all together. Everybody knew everybody, and everybody was like, yeah. we was all family. But it was just different this year because you had a lot of a lot of young guys, and you know, this year was like the first time I was like, it's it's it felt like they're taking a shift. Yeah, it, it, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I, you can just feel it at some point they're gonna shift. 